Even though the craftsmen working on the restoration of all the log structures in the reach sites frequently used traditional hand tools, it was imperative to also employ modern tools for the sake of time, and time translates into money, always. But log craftsman Eric Sammons is a master at cutting a half dovetail notch with either hand tools or a chainsaw, as he demonstrates. Now then, as far as the layout goes, and everything up until I picked up the chainsaw would have been done the same way now as it would have been 100 years ago, 200 years ago. We have power tools, so of course we use them. To have done it in the older days would have either been cut with a uh, buck saw here and then chiseled back across, a, or just ax straight down. I found them both ways in the deal. And these here would either be chopped in with an ax or there again, this cut represented with a cross cut saw and axed out the other part of the cut. We're going to take and use all the shortcuts we have nowadays because we can. It up with slick. And that's a half dovetail for log construction. Logs uh, typically will use a half dovetail because they'll shed water. Uh, there are several different notches that are used in them. This seems to be the most uh, uh, longest lasting, most structural one that we've found so far. And tends to go to the guys who knew kind of what they were doing. You don't have to worry about a full dovetail because you've got the weight of the extra logs of the logs above it setting. When this weight's here and that's setting on the log, it, through the flat surfaces it can't twist and turn out. And any water that gets in here will run to the outside of the building and not running back inside, which is why we use a half dovetail.